so this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can insert your prompt in getting any image of your choice be it fat slim tall or any kind of person even if it's an exaggerated kind of image you want to generate you are free to do except the one that is against Bing's policies all right so i'm just going to show you all the step everything you need to insert in your prompt for you to be able to generate the image you want all right so we are just going to get started all right so by now most of you must have been able to log into your bing if you haven't you can just go to bing.com slash images slash create if you cannot actually put this there i'm going to be dropping the link in the description so you can easily gain access into your bing all right so now we now want to generate an image for this now let's take for instance we want to generate an image for a very fat woman sitting under a tree all right so this is what we're going to do now we are now going to start with image we are going to be describing what we want and what the person is actually doing now what we want is an image of a fat woman sitting under a tree okay now this is actually what we want fat woman sitting under a tree now after you've inserted stuff like this then you can now put in your comma and then you can insert any other thing you want to be added in that image now she's sitting actually she's actually sitting under a tree so we can now add hot which is to say there are huts around there, trees. There are trees around there, children playing. It is also there. All right, so now, after you've now inserted all the things you actually want to be seen in the image you are generating, then you can now move ahead to add stuff like oily image. This should actually come after you've inserted your prompt oily image hyper realistic image all right then the last one is african village image now this is it so when you have something like this you can now go ahead to create now it's actually going to create a fat woman sitting under a tree and the disorders like the hot trees children playing will actually be in that image then the image should be an oil image this should be what we should be inserting after we've typed in our prompt oil image realistic image and the rest of that so now if we should actually scroll and look at this now you see this this is actually a fat woman sitting under a tree. Huts, we started huts. Trees, we started trees. Children playing, you see all of this. So we can actually decide to use something like this. In fact, if you're looking at this, this is actually looking like an exaggerated kind of image. In fact, it is because this kind of woman, she's very fat. And if you look at her, she's huge. So we can see that what we've inserted, our prompt we've inserted has given us what we want. Now, let's change it. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to remove this part here. I'm going to insert image of a mad man with a lion's head. This is actually what I want. Image of a madman with a lion's head. Then I can now insert every other thing I want to insert. I can now say, okay, hot trees. Hot trees, then oily image, hyper realistic image, African village image, and then I can now create. So now let's see what it's going to be giving us here. So, like I said, you need to just go straight to the point by telling Bing what you actually want. I want an image of a madman with a lion's head. Straight. So you don't need to actually making them confused by putting something like I want a madman with a lion head having this having that and all of that of it all right so now if you should actually scroll and look at this you see this this is actually madman with a lion so I can actually work with this one definitely this has to be scary because it's definitely a madman so with the lion's head you see hot trees you see the hot here you see you also find the trees up here so if you actually want to insert a prompt to derive an image 
the first thing you need to do is to go straight to the point and tell Bing what you actually want. I want an image of a madman with a lion's head. Then you can go ahead to add every other thing you actually want to add. So this is just the simple way and I have been following this process in deriving my images with Bing and it's actually working so well for me. All right. So before we are done, I would like us to try one more thing. So if you actually like to go over this again, you can just do it to pause the video and go over again. All right. So we're now going to try something else. This time around, we're going to be trying a king. All right. So I'm just going to be removing this part here. Okay. So I'm going to be putting an image of a king inside his hot image of a king inside his hot then i cannot go ahead to say stuff like beads on hand and neck beads on hands and neck uh -huh. i can also put stuff like guards beautiful hot all right, so let's work with this image of a king inside his heart, beads on hand and neck, guards, beautiful heart. All right, so let's create this and let's see what this is actually going to be giving us. All right, so do not forget, you must always go straight to the point first before you include every other thing you want to have in your image. All right, let's take a look at this particular one first. Now, this image, you notice that, you see this, there are beads on his hand. On his neck you see he's actually a king then you see this guard then this is beautiful hold though it's actually not looking like a modern kind of beautiful or whatever all right but in those days i think this should actually be one of the best okay so what we're actually creating is african village image so this is actually good when it comes to village settings and all of that so this is also a king you see this i see the guards right behind him you see the next one here you also find the guards here okay you will not really get this all right so now there's another thing you also need to come to understand now when you've actually got some stuff like this and maybe the guards we want to do away with the guards we don't need the guards instead we want nothing there just image of a king inside his heart beats on his neck and hand then beautiful heart if you just want to play you can go ahead delete it and recreate this so it's just that simple and good to go all right so this is just the simple trick a simple method i use in generating my images with bing so you can actually follow this process if you like to go through this again you can go ahead to start the video and understand this very well so generating image with bing is very very important that you need to generate exactly what you want before when i started with bing it was actually difficult for me to generate the particular image i want i'll have to go over and over and over again in generating and remember we have just 15 right here so for those of you that will actually want to be using up to that want to actually make this up to 100 you can go out ahead to use the pro you can pay for the pro the way you pay for the pro they are not actually going to be taking the money out the first month i'm actually sure of that they're not going to be taking the money out so you can just go ahead to pay for it then you can be using up to 100 monthly so this is just a simple method on how you can actually generate an image putting in the right prompt to generate your images all right guys so this is all we're going to be talking about concerning african folk stories and generating your images using the right prompt so how about now after generating our image definitely we are going to save it and we want to actually change the aspect ratio when i mean the aspect ratio the size of this now this is actually let's say 2000 by 2000 pixels then you want to actually make this landscape so how can you actually make this landscape which is youtube size so that when you are creating your story it's actually going to fit into youtube you can do well to check out the next video the next video i'm going to show you how you can convert your images from the way it is you downloaded it on bing to landscape all right guys so let's quickly see how we can actually do that in the next video